Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Once again, I'm Ned from Nets Tech, but it's otherwise known as your friendly neighborhood basement dweller. Don't worry, ma'am, I am from the internet, and today I want to be talking about the Coleco Telstar unit. It is straight up legit difficult to find much information about this because this unit seems to have come from the 70s. Now, stick with me, video games were a bit different in the 70s. I mean, when cars first started coming out, they gave them all kinds of different names and they eventually went with automobile, but I'm not sure if they even went with the term video games. Now, check this out. This sucker takes 6C batteries. So this is kind of interesting. I one single output. And it looks like just a standard RCA. It's interesting. It isn't those, you know, the two jacks that you had to screw in. You know what I'm talking about. Apparently, these things were manufactured in Montreal and I gotta say, this is the first time I've seen any electronics that have flathead screws on them. Ah, the charge compartment's not fragged. That's a surprise. Alright, before I get any further, let's take a look at what we got on the front. I should say that I got this at a yard sale probably about 25 years ago. We got the on-off, beginner, intermediate. Oh, okay, so that's a uh, difficulty. Reset switch. Oh man, there's something really, really sexy about that reset switch. Of course, we got the knobs. There would have been something right here. We get handball, hockey, and tennis. Okay, so standard Phillips heads all around the outside. Let's open it up. First time she's been open in, well, a long time. And geez, there's really not a whole lot going on here, is there? I mean, you got with the speaker. We got the relays, we got the knobs, and over here, of course, uh, the meat and potatoes are probably under the heat shield, unless that is just the power. Man, there's not a lot going on here. This is the control unit, everything all in one. You can see that's where the batteries go. Still can't believe they put a battery pack in here. Okay, let's get this stuff out. All right, a bit better look at the wiring and I gotta say I'm really pleased with the terminations. We got terminations all over the place. This is all done by hand. Terminations go in here. Look at this. I love this. I love RCA termination on the inside. I'm pretty sure that's called RCA at that point, right? Anyways, so then we get the main chip. We get the power right here. The transformer. And then let's take a look at the chip. 1976 Coleco. Okay. Look at this workmanship. I mean, even the power is terminated. That is beautiful. Okay, what we got here? What do we got here? An AY38500i. Okay. What is this thing? Right here. I do not know what that is, but I know someone's going to see this video and tell me what that little blue thing is. I've tried to move it, but it doesn't seem to move at all. Oh, wait, no, it does. If someone could tell me what that is, I would really appreciate it. Oh my god, guys, this is an integrated chip. This chip basically has Pong on it. Now, I heard of like NES on a chip. You can get different kind of systems on a chip, but I had no idea that we had systems on a chip back in uh, in the 70s. That is awesome. Technology never stops amazing me. I mean, way back in the day, Pong on a chip that makes, that makes sense. It makes perfect sense why everyone and their brother had a Pong game. I mean, if you hear angry video game nerd talking about old systems from the 70s, this is one of the systems that he was talking about. Just systems forever. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me. Now from Nev's Tech Becks. Like and subscribe if you like stuff. It's always appreciated. And as always, folks, seriously, take care of each other, will yous?